In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple presentation for your classroom. Mentimeter is best used as a tool to generate conversation or maybe sort of take the temperature of the room or if you're having trouble getting kids engaged into an activity. Um, it's a great tool to use to sort of get the ball rolling. Not really something that you necessarily would use for assessment per se, but more of just like a check for understanding and a great way to get kids um, participating. So when you go into Mentimeter, in order to create a presentation, you're simply gonna click on this blue button called New Presentation. When you click on that, you'll be able to label your presentation. Um, let's say that I'm teaching um, something about Europe and I want to sort of assess what the background knowledge level is of my students at the beginning of the lesson. So I'm going to call my presentation World Traveler. Think of this kind of like as the hook to my lesson. Now once I label it and I create a new presentation, on the right, I have lots of different choices for what kind of question or slide type I might want to use. So a good one to begin with is always a multiple choice. So I'll click on that and you will see right here where I can type in my question. What language is spoken in Austria? Austrian? Nope. Oops. German, my second option, or Swiss. Now you notice here that there's really no place where I can select what the correct answer is because I'm not testing the students. I'm, I'm getting a sense of what they already know uh, so that when I begin my lesson, I've, I've kind of prepped them, I've hooked them into the concept, and I get a sense for what I need to cover and maybe what I don't. So um, we can say Austrian, German, or Swiss, and I can have the results uh, set out in bars or donuts or pies. And then when the kids answer this question, they'll be able to see kind of like a poll, how many people think uh, it, Austrian is spoken in Austria. Obviously we know the answer is German there. Okay, so uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create another question. So I go up to the add a slide in the upper left hand corner of my screen. I hit add a slide and this time maybe I want to create a word cloud. Word cloud is really fun because you can ask the kids um, for a response and it pops their answers up in the shape of a cloud, which is really neat. So maybe you could say something like, what is your favorite country in Europe? And you can decide how many answers each student is allowed to give. In this case, I'd probably just say one. Um, and then when the kids respond, it will populate in the form of a word cloud, which is kind of fun for them. Then I'm going to do one more slide because again, this is just sort of setting the stage. This is my hook. So I might do uh, an open ended question or maybe I want to do some kind of a poll. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to do uh, open ended question. So open-ended question is, if I could go to Europe, I would dot, dot, dot. And then you can see that the students can answer in speech bubbles or in a grid. I'm going to choose speech bubbles and it's going to give the kids an opportunity to just sort of share what their interests are. So now I've done my hook and at this point it's a little bit bland looking. So I want to go up and I'm going to go into the upper right corner of my screen and click on themes. And I'm just going to add a little bit of color here. And there's a lot of pre-created themes that are free that you can use. 
And so I think uh, I'm going to go with green and that'll change my font. And then you can see that it's just a little bit of um, more color. So then when I want to share it with my students, I'm simply going to click on this share button in the upper right corner of my screen. And you can see that there is a lot of different ways that I can share the link. Um, they can join through a code, a QR code or a direct link. Um, they can uh, make a, a voting link here, uh, anything that you want to do. So basically what I do is I copy the link and typically I'll paste it in a chat box or you can paste it into your Google Classroom. So if I wanted to do that, I would hit copy link. And then I would go up into my Google Classroom, open up my classroom. Under classwork, I would create. Um, I think I'm going to make it like just a question because it's kind of like a prompt, right? And then I would click link and paste that link right there. And then I would call it World Traveler. And then I could ask the question and the students would be able to click on this and participate and answer all the questions. So I do ask and then it will appear in my stream and you will see that the students can then go in and click into Mentimeter and then they can answer the questions. German, submit, okay, and so on and so forth. So oh, that's the way that we make a really fun presentation in Mentimeter.